I've been wanting to cover this story for such a long time now. As being a shopper and for someone who's always looking for a great bargain and for great finds and pretty much rare pieces, you know, as fashion connoisseurs, as fashion lovers, fashion friends, we go to the thrift store or vintage shops, whatever. But I feel as if these prices are getting to be ridiculous. You see it all the time, and I was going to, you know what, come to you guys and just rant and rave about it, but I was like, why not just go on to the store myself, take some photos of things that truly makes my stomach churn, and show you guys what exactly it is that I'm talking about. So I went over to Value Village, the store, and immediately as I went in, I could feel as if the prices were going up. I felt like the, the stocks were just grazing up over my head as, I, as soon as I walked in the door. Um, it was a great day at the thrift store because there were people there that knew what I was going through and that knew what I was feeling. These prices in here are too high! Okay, fashion friends, I'm here live at the Value Village Notorious Thrift Store in the DMV area. Oh yes, fashion friends, I have a tea to clock. I've been shopping here for years, 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 and the prices have been going up, 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 up. And I cannot take it. I want to see what is the reason and why are these prices so high. And if you do not believe me, I'll show you proof yourself so that you can see the ticket prices. This is amazing. Value Village, baby. I have a tea to clock. Let's go inside Fashion Friends and see how this plays out, okay? Let's go. You all working? Oh, because I was going to ask them about a price in here that just seems ridiculous. Uh, isn't the prices too high? How much is that? This is $14.99. They got the store price on here. The store price was thirty four dollars, mm -hmm. and y'all want fourteen pants should be like three ninety nine. Yeah, we got exactly. pictures on sale for that. Yeah, yeah. you know the black the Black uh -huh. Friday sale yeah. over at Macy's. Right. We just talking about they yeah. went up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, they went up. This is not how it used to be. Four dollars for this shirt. Yeah, we can go to somewhere like two dollars. It's a thrift store out in Wheaton that all the tops to are one dollar. And um, all the shoes are um, $2. Store? It is called um, The Ark, The Community Ark. Oh, I think my niece um, used to go there. Yeah, over there in Wheaton Mall. And everything is um, real inexpensive and all the nice price. They got trench right, coats for like $3. I like the jacket. Oh, thank you. Man, this one looks $3. But for, I got a bag. For the skull. Yeah, I got a bag. Child, I need it. Please. But you know what? You can go to 450 out um, by your village. Mm -hmm. Across from Walmart with the old Capri Plaza, and they got like Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays they have the um, fifty percent off. Fifty percent off, but see, it should be fifty percent off all the time Get around. A VIP, VIP card, but it should be fifty percent off all the time for the general public. You know why we gotta wait for a sale? This isn't Walmart. That's what I'm saying. They said, "What's that? On Mondays?" Yeah, Monday to Thursday. Right. You can get, get a sale. But you can go in the back and see if they can change that price. Oh, the back. Oh, you got this too. These prices are crazy. For example, let's just go ahead and get into this. I had to pull up my cell phone because I did take pictures with me, my actual, you know, my phone and things. 
Hey guys, the new spread thought is absolutely amazing. Evo, it does everything for me. <laughs> Pay me! But, um, honey, let's go ahead and jump into this photo right here. Now, up on the screen, can you believe that this suit jacket, baby, $29.99, but that's not it, it's a three-piece suit jacket. $29.99 for the jacket, $29.99 for the skirt, $29.99 for the pants. That's three, six, ninety dollars. The ninety dollars, honey. That's $29.99. Get into that. $29.99, $29.99. Ninety dollars for this pants suit. For Karen Clark's suit, honey, and they're charging ninety dollars for this. Matter of fact, that's not even current. Honey. That's a twinkie clock she was on the order. For the skirt, $29.99. For the jacket, that's on $369. You're going to be spending at least a good $95 for one suit at a thrift store where you can easily go to Catherine's or some, you know, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, possibly, and get that same suit for maybe even $50 for the whole set discount off. I don't think so. Have you guys literally lost your mind? Who's doing the prices at these thrift stores? Let's go on to the next thing I saw. These Echo Red jeans, like God knows who even wears these Echo Red jeans. First of all, they're worn by somebody else. They were given to you guys for free. I have to keep pushing that because some you're walking around in some dead guy's jeans. But anyway, you're, these Echo Red jeans here, they're $14.99. And if I'm correct, was there a price tag on that back of that jean? Was there a price tag? Was it giving me? No, it was just Echo Red. These pants are $14.99, knowing good well they should at least be $2.99 to $3.99 for this denim. I don't think so. There's nothing exclusive about it. There's nothing rarefied about these jeans. Why are they $14.99 and please do not go off the brand. Does this Echo Red still exist? Are they even still around? I don't even see them in the hip hop magazines anymore. So you're charging how much again for that? On to the next. Let's talk about these draws, honey. These draws, child. These draws. Somebody's draw. Some. I can't. That's racist. Whose draws are these? Whose draws are these? You know I wear a size for her. Yes, Maya. These underwear are $1.49 a piece. You want $1.49. And so if you include all of these draws in your bag, you buy six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars. And on the 50 cent, you're going to be spending at least a good $12 for, for these draws at a thrift store. No goodness, bro. These underwear should at least be 35 cents. Who's going to wear them? I don't know. But uh, $1.49 for these, for these stank draws at a thrift store? Are you crazy? I don't think so. Now, these dress pants were $14.99, Miss Girl. And at the store, they had the tag on the match from Miss Jay-Z Penny. She wanted $35. So you mean to tell me that the thrift store is going to be charging you $15, which is close to a good 56% uh, off at the thrift store, knowing good and well, if I was to go over to Miss JC Penny today, I could possibly get these pants for it's holiday season, so you know the sales are going on. Nordstrom just had 40% off, so the thrift store is going to be having, well, Macy's probably going to be having 50. So I could possibly get these pants for a good $10 over at, no, well, $10.99 over at Macy's or JCPenney, because you know nobody, who, who, who's still going to JCPenney these days? Nobody. So I'm like, why are you charging $14.99 for these pants? If I were to price them, the pants would no more be, uh, and they, if that's supposedly they're brand new, they would be no more than $5.99 for the pants, even if that. Like, there's no reason why these dress slacks are that much money. I don't think so. On to the next item. Baby, did you see that denim skirt? Oh my. Holy, he's holy, 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 holy. On a Saturday. I know this hideous, hideous Pentecostal skirt on a Saturday morning getting up to go wash cars at church is not no 9 dollars 
Yes, it is, honey. $9.99 for this first Baptist skirt, honey. Please. You see what I'm talking about? I don't think so. There's no way I'm gonna be paying $9.99 for that denim, denim skirt. No. That skirt should be at least $2, $2.99. And this is something that trips me out about thrift stores. They want to make it seem as if they're giving you a deal by offering you, oh, well, Mondays we're going to give you 50% off. Well, on Thursdays we'll give you 50% off. Hello, it's a thrift store. It should be 50% off by the original price, period, that you guys put it on. So if it's if you're saying that it's $9.99, then 9 out of 10, it should have already been marked as $4.99. Everything in a thrift store these days needs to be broken in half. You're robbing the public. Thrift stores are a thrift find. They're meant for people that do not have much. But, well, these days you have all your fashion lovers there, so they're trying to find, you know, great fab pieces, whatever. But thrift stores are originally there for people that need this type of support. They cannot go to the expensive retail shops. They can't go over to Nordstrom's or Bloomingdale's or over to Saks Fifth. They need this type of place. They need to thrive there at a thrift store, but you're jacking the prices up. Uh, I mean, so where are the poor people going now? The garbage cans? The garbage bins? Are they like digging in trash cans? Are they waiting for people to get put out to go and go find these new clothes that they can possibly have? Not even new but used and worn clothing? So I guess for the poor guy, his best bet is to stand in front of the apartment buildings while somebody gets evicted to get a pair of jeans because he will not be able to go inside of a thrift store to get any type of clothing. Can we please get a ticket for homeless people where they can go to the thrift store and receive 75% off all the items, please, because they're going to need it? Because honestly honey the thrift stores are way too high even when I was inside of the thrift store that's the conversations around people were just clocking the tees just saying how I can't believe how high this stuff is I'm better off going over to Macy's why is this so high why is this oh, let me see miss is this is this real fur you think this is real mm -mm. Oh, it's not. Mm -hmm. well, let me put it this way. I don't know what kind of animal. Uh, 129. Is that how? 129. Yes. That's how. 129. Girl. Mm. All these prices are here ridiculous. Yes. Look at this. How much is this cut? Wait, wait, wait. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Uh, if it come off, I can't get it. Uh, it's $29. This is nice. Yeah, that's nice. The 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. And then the line, there's a line in it. Mm-hmm. I ain't never it's had like no It's in good condition. It is. Mm -hmm. well, that's a nice one. $20. That's, that's, that's cool. That's, that's but almost $135 for this jacket. And it's not even real. This is real. I don't know what kind of animal this is that real. is. Real Made what? in China from store XOXO. This is real. What kind of animal? What kind of animal? Are you this, sure? This, yes, this is real. I don't know what it is, but this is real. And what they may have done was put this print, the, the paint on it. But this. But do you think it should be 129 at a thrift store? Yeah. Somebody gonna take this. Somebody gonna walk out with this. Thing. I'm gonna tell you that name. Somebody gonna walk out. With... <laughs> Seriously, somebody gonna steal this coat. They ain't gonna pay no damn 129 dollars. No, now we can go to the store and get a. What can we do, fashion friends? Did you did you hear that lady clap the seat and say somebody is not going to buy this jacket? Someone is not going to buy this tiger coat. Someone's going to steal it. Because who's going to pay $125 for this painted on striped tiger jacket? No one is going to do that for this trench coat. I don't think so. They're going to walk out the door as they walked in with that coat under their arm and keep it moving. Out the change on aisle four. No one's going to be buying this, this coat. People be very aware of what's happening with the thrift stores. As the years go on, the prices are getting ridiculously high and the thrift stores are not meant to be that way. I am in full support of the Ark Thrift Store located in Wheaton, Maryland because I, I love what they stand for and I love what they do. 
This thrift store is a thrift store that hires handicapped employees and people with, you know, mental, um, you know, mental education issues and things like that. They have them working in the store on the register, cleaning up and putting things out. And like the jeans are like one dollar. I know one that they had a shoe day and all the shoes were like two to uh, one to two dollars there. It's like no matter what I look at, I'm not looking at anything over $6. And it's like, wow, this is truly what a thrift store is all about. Great finds, great prices, and they're even giving back to the community by helping people. They're not robbing people like Miss Value Village, Miss Vivi, honey. I don't, huh, I don't, I don't, I don't swallow her, girl. I don't, I can't take her. Miss Vivi has a chain all around the DMV. She is wiping people out. And you know it's a chain. We got you. We caught your tea, honey. Let me tell you something about old people, okay? Which is really funny. I have to clock the, I have to clock the tea on them. Whenever I'm in the grocery store, hence Harris Teeter. You know, Miss Harris Teeter. She offers you samples, Miss Girl. And senior citizen, them hoes, they be the game real slick. You know, I love my grandmas, my granddads, my papas, and things like that. But they think they real slick. Let me tell you about them, honey. Because they take the word buffet to a whole nother level. They walk around in the little grocery stores with their little carts and stuff like that. Maybe with we'll, you know a slice of meat, a piece of bread, things like that in their basket. But what they're doing the whole time is they're collecting all this food and they're just eating it. When they have samples over at Harris Cedar, girl, why are you sitting here eating four slices of four slices of cheese, honey? Four grapes. Then you go over to the cookie section. You're eating about three cookies, and then you go over to the, 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 the meat section. You're eating two slices of meat. Grandma, you trying to get four inside of the food? You trying to get four inside this um this grocery store, aren't you? Just walking around, just munching and lunching, honey. Just, yo, this is real good today. This is, uh, huh, I'm enjoying myself. You really in here? And that's why whenever y'all come up to the family functions, y'all don't be hungry. Because you didn't got yourself filled up at the grocery store for eating all them free samples. I got your tea. Uh, huh, I'm going to clock you. And I just did. But it's all right. But just keep in mind, next time you go to the grocery store and you're out samples, Look at the same citizen people. They are eating down, girl. Like, they are eating everything. Like, they're always snacking. Always got the little bag of grapes. Sweetie, once you go over four grapes, two slices of meat, and a piece of bread, that's a buffet. That's a lunch. So, you're not bullying nobody, girl, because we know what you're doing. It? When you know what's messed up, when they don't even look at the garment and price them by the the condition of it, they look at the garment and they just give you the standard pants price. Well, all pants are six ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine, so it's either gonna be six ninety nine or it's gonna be fourteen ninety nine. All tops are. $5.99 to $8.99. And then they even have it set up because I've gotten to their two on the register. They'll just press the color codes for color. Everything does not need a color code. Sweetie, this shirt does not need to be nobody's $5.99. It should be $1. This sh these jeans should not be $14.99. They should be $3. You're robbing the public and it's really messed up and it's really stink that you guys would do this. When did the thrift store ever elevate to the level of Target? When did the thrift store ever elevate to the level of Bloomingdale's and Macy's and Nordstrom and all the other big retailers? You have not. Not when somebody is getting out their car and with a messed up plastic bag and throwing the clothes in front of your door and you're taking them in the back, taking them out and jacking these prices up on these clothes. I don't think so. You're making me sick to my stomach. You make me want to, to vomit. You know I was gonna clock the 